Hey guys, so the time has finally come and things are shifting into high gear. We are starting to see focus on many other high production vehicles, including the new refreshed Model Ys. Now, looking back, at one point, the Model S and X was the star of the show, then came the Semi and the Cybertruck, but one thing that is similar across all these models is the fact that the hype was very short-lived. Now, I would think that the main reason to this is that they are very expensive, and for the average Joe like you and and I, we would never be able to afford them, so the buzz just kinda came and gone within a couple of months, and this is where we started hearing about the Model 3. The Model 3 was not like any other products. When the prototype was first leaked, the focus stayed on and it stayed on up until this very point. This of course is not saying that the Palladiums or the Cybertruck is not an interesting product and is not worth the hype up until this point. They are actually quite opposite of that, and I am sure there are a ton of other channels out there that go much further in depth to each and every one of those products for any of you guys that are interested. But you're probably here because you want a general idea of all the updates within the lineup and specifically focusing on the mass marketed vehicles like the Model 3 and Model Ys. So on that note, if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, make sure you do hit that button as well as the notification bell so I can keep you as posted as quickly as possible when any news drops. So now here comes the Model 3 Highland and skip Skipping all the performance talk, if you want to know more about that, go check out all my previous videos because I went way into depth into each and every single component and update of this model. By now, if you have been following along with me on this journey, you know about my opinion and thoughts on the previous Model 3 design. It was sleek, it was simplistic, it was good looking inside and out with the exception of the frog light eyes. I have never been a fan of those specific headlights just because of how bulbous it looks, but Tesla has done a really great job redesigning the new Model 3 to make things much more sleeker and much more aggressive than we had before. And according to Tesla's chief designer friends, they have essentially trimmed off all the baby fat around the vehicle, making it much more aggressive and giving a much better stance. So at this point, with the new redesign of the Model 3, I am extremely thrilled with their design choices, especially in the headlight and taillight department. There is so much going for it and so much more competitive with a lot of sports sedans out there. But now the real win here has to be on the inside of the car. It has been updated in so many ways, making it feel like a brand new car even though based on the older platform. In terms of space, we have surprisingly gained some additional storage in the rear trunk with these two side pockets now going extremely deep. Essentially, we gained some additional cubic feet in the rear of the car. This was so surprising and unexpected because it was based off of the same platform, but somehow the team has managed to give us these side pockets. Then on the inside of the car, for rear passengers, you'll now notice that there is much more rear decline for these seats just because of all the inefficiencies that the team has spotted. They've managed to give us all this back and now your backrest is going to be much more comfortable on those long road trips. Now, I'm not going to run into every single feature because there is a very exhaustive list, but the gist of it is that the major components they have upgraded is really, really great great things such as a rear display, the cooled seats, blind spot monitoring, and so much more. This is going to give the car an overall more premium feel. Now speaking of all these upgrades, we have been anticipating the Model Y refresh for all these months and we are pretty much sure at this point that all these features are going to be ported over and then some more. If any one of you are not aware, this has been dubbed Juniper because of the internal reference that the team has used to talk about the new Model Y. Where it's sits right now, the Model Y is going through a transitional period as did the Model 3 before. Production has likely stopped at some extent just to make room for the newer upgrades and updates to the production line. However, there is one key difference that makes the Model Y transition much more seamless and much more smooth as they go through production. That is the fact that Tesla has four different factories pushing out the Model Ys at any given time and taking one offline for all these production upgrades are not going to affect the supply line. This is very different than what we had with the Model 3 where it was only being built at Giga Fremont as well as Giga Shanghai. This is where taking one offline is really going to affect everything else and this is where we are having all these delays with the Model 3 Highland launch. So as seamless as Tesla can possibly make it, the Model Y is still being built with extreme efficiency to meet up with all of the demands that are going on right now. Now what is quite weird is opposite of what had transpired over the past 
couple of months, Elon and the team has announced that there will be no Model Y refresh happening this year, at least within the US. An internal email had been sent to customer facing staff advising them that there will be no new vehicles happening this year and they should be relaying this transparently as possible to customers when they are in front of them. This of course is to incentivize them to buy now where the federal tax credit is still in place. Think of going into a vehicle that gives you 7500 off. It is the latest and greatest that they have right now. Now for the regular person going in to buy a Tesla, they may not know what's going on with the news and what's happening internally. But luckily for us, there are tons of channels just like mine that stay on top of everything going on in the Tesla realm. This is where we know that this may not be the right time to pick up a new Model Y. And on that topic, if you really enjoy all the videos and updates I've been pushing out lately, please take a moment and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so I can keep you as updated as possible as soon as everything else drops. So now here we are. The Model Y is going to be the biggest upgrade ever and it has already started happening. As expected, every single feature that we have seen in the Model 3 is going to be coming over to the Model Y, but there is going to be a ton more that this vehicle is going to have specifically coming from all the different models meshed into one. What makes the Model Y the best upgrade ever is going to be the benefit of coming out last. This means that all of the features we've been seeing on the Model S, X, Cybertruck and the Model 3 is going to be coming over to the Model Y but going to be much more refined. Now of course we are also going to be seeing some very specific upgrades for the Model Y as well especially in the battery compartment. We have discussed about the cathode battery that is going to be giving us enormous range as well as charging speeds. If you want to know all the details of this upcoming battery for the Model Y upgrade, definitely go check out my previous video. I'll drop it in the description below and up top there, but some mind-boggling stuff coming to this vehicle that you may not expect. All right, so going on to the most recent update we have for the Model Y Juniper, it looks like everything is still on track and ready for production. According to a recent source shared by a user on X, Tesla has gone into full-scale production for specific components for this Model Y built at the Giga Shanghai plant. Don't be confused, this is not part of the mid-life cycle refresh that we've been seeing for the Model Y China builds where you do get those additional features such as ambient lighting. This is the full-on upgrade that we have been expecting for all these months. Fortunately for us, someone within the Giga Shanghai factory line has captured an image of a critical component to this vehicle. Here in this picture, you can see the very first sighting of the center console built for the new Model Y. Now, although it might look quite identical from first glance, if you take a look closely side by side with these two center console, you will notice that the Model 3 and the Model Y has one clear difference. Now, the very clear difference here and the very first is going to be the chrome border across the entire charging pad. This was not available in any of the previous Model Ys as well as not being available in any of the other models. So although this is not a major change, this is a step in the right direction and the very first update we've seen so far. So there is definitely much more to come, but the very subtle difference here is what gives the car a much more premium feel. So now as this leak has just come out, there has already been a lot of debate whether this is built specifically for the new Model Y or it could just be an upgraded version for the Model 3. According to some people more knowledgeable in this area, it seems like this center console is much too wide and much too tall to fit in the new Model 3. In addition to this, an assumed Chinese resident that is familiar with this matter has confirmed this image as being legitimate and that it came from a Tesla supplier. He went on to say that this has been going on for some time now, indicating that production has gone on for the last couple of months. Now, although this is the very first and the only leak that we have seen so far of the Model Y, there is going to be a ton more coming up in the next couple of weeks. We are pretty much guaranteed of that. Similar to what had happened with the Model 3, as soon as the very first leaks came out and then the prototype, we started seeing ton and ton more in the various days that come up. We are still too early in the stages to talk about realistic ETAs, but if everything is going according to plan, we can expect to see prototypes on the road by sometime this summer. So of course, with the Model Y being the best selling car in the world, there is going to be a ton of info coming out in the next couple of weeks. I will be keeping a close eye on everything that comes out and update you as soon as possible. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification if you haven't already done so 
And then follow me on Twitter or X at HeyJohnE. Over there, you guys can chat with me, DM with me, and I will try to respond as quickly as possible. Anyways, guys, this should be it for this video, but there is a ton more information I want to share with you in the next couple of videos, so stay tuned for that. This is John once again. Peace out.